Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Middlesex Tree video on a brisk January morning here in southeastern Connecticut. Today, we're going to pick up where the guys left off yesterday in Old Saybrook, removing these two red oaks from the back of this property. They've gotten too big. They're littering the patio that they're hanging over. They're starting to intrude on some of the drainage pipes on the property, and they're simply just too big to be this close to the house. So today, they will meet their maker. Can you do us a favor? And if you haven't already, could you please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel? The guys removed the lower branches of the tree yesterday, and now it's time to handle the upper parts. Derek is in the bucket truck this morning, and he's ready to make the cuts with Willie, Chaw, Bert, and George on the ground doing their thing. We're going to be using a combination of controlled speed lines and rigging lines this morning to get these branches down on the ground. On this property, there's this rocky road heading down to a shed that's going to make moving the branches a little bit more challenging with the dingo this morning as it's not very firm and the tracks can't get a great grip on it. So we're going to have to take smaller pieces than we normally would and drag them up the road, drop them, and go down and repeat the process. Here you can see what the benefit is of the controlled speed lines as the guys are able to drop this branch at whatever speed they want and it's easy for them to control. We made great time on this tree this morning and we're gonna leave this last piece that's about 15 feet tall or so for one of the last cuts at the end of the day. And now it's time to head over to the tree on the right side. This tree might look like it's in good shape, but as you can see here, when this leader falls down, a lot of branches come crumbling off of it. We are nicely making our way down this red oak on the right side here, taking some nice chunks off as the guys guide them down. What we have left are these two trunks. We've intentionally built up some logs here to brace the fall of the tree trunks and so we do not jeopardize the retaining wall or the drainage pipes that are here. Derek's going to make way in with the chainsaw and Bert's going to use the snake bite rope to pull it in the direction that he wants it to fall. We're going to slice this log up a bit so that Bert can move it around and get ready to drop trunk number two. As you can see here, this trunk had a little bit of a mind of its own when it was coming down to strategically placed logs underneath it, and it went down for a little slide, but luckily it held itself up. But in case it were to keep going, we had Bert positioned on the dingo where he would be able to stop it and not go down and hit the shed. It was a great job today by the guys clearing up the trees over the patio. We left all the wood on the property so that the homeowner can cut it up and use it for heat. And now we're gonna make our way over to Killingworth. Just across the street from this beautiful church is this beautiful property where the guys are gonna do a little pruning today. It's not going to be that exciting, so we're not gonna to show too much of it, but what we are gonna talk about is what the guys did over the summertime. They spent two half days working in these beautiful Japanese gardens. It had been years since there was any maintenance done here. The guys made thousands of cuts between all of these ornamental trees and bushes and cleaned them up beautifully. Before they had started this job, all of the branches coming off of these trees and shrubs were on the ground and the boys lifted them up to make some space underneath them. It is a beautiful garden that includes a nice pond and some natural stone seedings to go out and enjoy some nature.
The guys would end up spending a few hours on this property, limbing up some of the trees and removing some branches that were overhanging the driveway that were almost ready to hit the cars. We also did some hedge trimming on these holly trees as well. It was a great day at Middlesex Tree, and thank you for watching.